Hey everyone, so today we have here, this is the M1 MacBook Pro, and this is the M1 Pro, M1 Pro Max models, the new ones, this is the 14 inch that uh, recently did come out. Um, we just want to talk about a little bit about today about if you have a problem with the operating system or if you have a problem with your login and you need to reset it. Uh, we did notice something when we were trying to do it for, for a client of ours and for other people as well. It's not as straightforward as it was before. Let's go ahead, I'll just walk you through how to reinstall it and what some of the problems we did see uh, with, with these models. So most of the time when you do log into these machines, you do have an Apple ID. You're gonna log in to use a lot of services like FaceTime, um, the App Store, lots of, other, uh, lots of other things. This does also include a lot of security that does come on with these MacBooks when you are able to log in. There's usually a Find My uh, app that's built into iCloud and that's what it's gonna do is it's gonna help secure your MacBook if someone tries to erase it or if there's a problem that you need to reinstall it, it's gonna activate as well even when you try to do that. So on the M1 models, you wanna make sure that you do hold down, there is a power button here and we wanna make sure that we hold down the power button. And this gets to your option menu. It says continue holding for startup options. And now we can let go after it says loading startup options. And this is a very uh, similar way. This is a boot menu, and this is also a way to get into internet recovery. So it's just one way instead of actually either holding Option or holding Command R on, on the older ones. It's just one way of doing it. So you just hold down the power button, and you're in all these other options. So if we go to Options here, it's going to load. It's not going to take forever like it does before because usually the internet recovery mode goes through a uh, server, and it will take forever to get to at least this page until it loads through um, Wi-Fi and all those other connections. So now you're going to be stuck here. And this is no matter what you do, if, you, if you're trying to reinstall an operating system, trying to wipe an operating system, no matter what you're trying to do, you're going to be stuck here. You're going to need to know uh, the admin password for this one, and regardless of what it is. If you don't know the password, you can reset it via Apple ID. But if you're having trouble with your Apple ID, then you're pretty much kind of stuck here. And I did notice this only activates, this page comes up um, when you either encrypt the drive itself there or if you have the, the Find My active on any machine, this is what's going to come up. So this one does have a Find My on it, so we need to make sure we enter in the password. If you're not sure about the password, again, you can forget all passwords, and you can go down a uh, way to get it through the through internet connection, make sure that you have uh, a good internet connection, or make sure you have one at all, and you have to depend on the servers really to be resetting it through here. Another way to do this would be to go through your phone if you have an iPhone or another device that does have a uh, Find My device, or... If it, if it does have a login, you can easily do more through there. But we just want to deal with it all through the computer here. So we know the password for here because it's just a simple login. No problem. We're just going to log into it. So we're able to get to at least this page. But without that information, we are not able to get to this page. So next thing you want to do is we want to pretty much reinstall the operating system, which is good. Um, we also want to make sure we clean it because if there's any problem with the operating system itself, uh, we want to make sure we wipe it. Uh, now, I just want to show this thing. Um, because this is how you're going to be normally wiping an operating system. You're going to go into Disk Utility here, and you want to actually go to Show All Devices right next to here. And we have a lot of them here. Uh, if it's encrypted, then it's going to throw a fit. If it's not encrypted, then it's not going to throw a fit. But it looks like the drive is at least, we're able to see at least the, the data drive and everything else there. Um, so what you always want to do if you don't care about any data, then uh, you just want to pretty much wipe it and just want to reinstall it. Um, this will be a way to go. You can start at the hierarchy here. So you want to start at the very top and this will delete all the partitions that are there. And you can just name it whatever. It's just, you can leave a default, name it whatever and just erase it. And now what it's going to say, this is a little bit different than typical. Normally you can do it all through the disk utility. This one does have some extra security on it. So it says to erase or delete the volumes, you will need to fully erase this Mac and it's going to give you more of a warning. And now it also says that internet connection is required to reactivate this Mac and, and reinstall the Mac OS. Now, this is interesting because it's reactivating too. It's not just wiping the drive. It's going to need to reactivate the Mac. This is going to be really similar to how a phone works for it. If you have um, like an Apple ID built into a phone and any motherboard, if, there, if there's any problem with it because you have Find My active, then you would definitely want to make sure 
that you have your Apple ID or any passwords that go along with it because if you don't have it it's gonna be pretty much a brick you have to show pretty much like proof of purchase through Apple and lots of things lots of steps to go through it to reset all your Apple ID if you, if you didn't know anything about it or if it was for like a, a friend or a brother sister or mom or dad that just didn't know um, but we're not going to go through that, but uh, this is just going to tell, it's telling you, it's warning you before anything else. If you want to erase the Mac, it even shows in bold red here, which the, the typical ones, if you've seen on any of our other videos, when you just erase it, it goes all through disk utility, erases it here, then you just reinstall it. But this is a lot different. So when you erase it, it's actually going to restart the machine. So if I re so it's going to ask again, it's going to permanently delete everything that's on there, all the settings, contents. And again, it doesn't tell you again about the internet connection, but that is definitely required because it needs to reactivate the Mac. So we're going to re- we're going to do this and you're going to actually get into this bar. It's not going to do anything from disk utility. It's going to do all this and it's going to cycle back to an activation page on macOS. And you just let it do its thing. So now it's going to ask your Apple ID. And it's going to do it. It's, it's activating, it's activating, activating. And it says it's linked with the Apple ID as well. So, box. So after you're done with all that, it's going to say your Mac is activated. So now we can actually get into the part where we can reinstall the operating system. This is pretty much a security feature to make sure if it's stolen or uh, if there's not authorized use or, or anything very similar situation that this is going to actually make sure that all that information is there. It's a good way of authenticating and defending your Mac in case it, there is a problem like that because you should have all the information there. Now, if you don't have the information there, then you have to go down um, a f really fun route and we don't want to go that way. But most customers, most people, most customers are going to have an Apple ID that's going to be linked to this and they're also going to have Apple ID and those things and it's just they're going to have a spontaneous uh, problem with the, with an operating system that maybe just fails or they just forgot something. So there's no way to really help someone in the moment until they actually give us that information for it because this is an activation lock. This isn't any type of power issue. This isn't any type of T2 issue. This is an activation lock. So we're going to go ahead and continue recovery. Now we're back to the screen again. And this is still a pain, right? We, we did everything. We did everything we were supposed to. So there shouldn't be any data on here. And even if you go to this utilities, I showed this in the other one, it still keeps showing up no matter what. It will always say security settings cannot be changed. I already made a video about that. Um, I'm not going down that one, but I don't know why. I've, I've tried many times to try with a clean install. I tried it with, um, with a non-activated Mac, just anything, just non-encrypted, a very clean, just, just basic user, local account username. Still does that. I don't know why. So now for this one, uh, we want to reinstall Monterey, and it's a very similar process. You can just go through. So this is a much better way because it's only going to download the information when you have, when you're trying to reinstall it, and it has the download and it has the recovery partition on the drive uh, this time. So now it shows it here, and you do need to connect to internet. One more thing I actually did notice um, is that when you try to plug in a USB for this. And like, I know it's going to say two hours, fifty-seven minutes. It could be quicker. It could be a lot slower. It depends on the servers and the status of that. But I did notice when I plugged in a USB to actually do this, um, it does still require an internet connection about halfway through. It will let you install it, but then it says you must be connected to the internet, and it did not let me go forward, even though I had our uh, USB that has Monterey already on it. And we showed how to make those. If you are interested, you can go check out the video links in the description, but now I'm kind of seeing how that's going to be pointless throughout this whole thing because it still gave me the same steps throughout the whole entire thing here. It gave me the same information, the same steps. I still have to connect to internet. There's, I don't really see a point of, uh, for, our, for us making a, a, a let alone installer on these anymore um, because there's no point. You have to go through activation locks. You have to connect to internet. You always have to go through recovery. I mean, it's good to have anyway, I guess, just in case. Uh, but I don't see really a point because it's kind of like even for game consoles, how you have a disc, you plug it in, and then it requires an update to even play the game anyway. It's a very similar situation here. So this, no matter what, you would plug in USB. You can't just do a, a clean install. of Even though the whole OS is on a USB, uh, you still can't clean install it and in install it all the way until you connect it to the Internet, which is just... I don't know why that exists because the whole OS is on the USB and we've done install on many other machines, especially older machines like uh, especially the older machines like the 2015, 2016 models. They work totally fine with this, but for some reason on this one, on these M1, on this at least this M1 Pro, M1 Pro Max model, it just doesn't work and it just requires me to have it. So we're going to have to wait uh, for this one. It's just going to load all the way. It's basic. It's, it's going to work after this. Uh, it's going to take a little while just to get to the OS, but that's just the steps to really show to go on.
and uh, how to cl clean and install the operating system. All right, guys. So I hope you guys learned something today on installing this, on installing Monterey, or I'm sure going to be later versions on uh, on the M1 Pro, M1 Pro Max models. But we haven't really seen them on the older models. Just these new, brand new models just came out. The very, very expensive ones, very, very nice ones. And I'll be curious to see if it's going to be on every single model, which I do expect it to be as well. So, anyways, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hope you guys learned something. Leave a like if you did. Please subscribe for more content. We like to do lots of uh, Mac repairs, not just software talks. Not just a little software talk, but we always want to let you guys know any news, any information that we see as a tech shop, and uh, any common issues that we see or that, that we think you guys are going to benefit from. It's always scary to, to lose your data or to be locked out, and we don't want you guys doing that. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. See you next one. Bye.